Thanks for watching this video on quick clay disasters. At the end of this video, you'll be an advanced dummy on the reasons and mitigations for quick clay disasters. Today, you will learn about the main reasons for the occurrence of a quick clay slide, which can lead to a disaster. I will use a few examples from actual disasters and use hand sketches to explain. Finally, I will show how the risk for a quick clay disaster can be reduced and mitigated. But first, an example. This is the Riesa quick clay slide from 1978. The total volume of the soil lost into the sea is 6 million cubic meters. That is equal to 800,000 fully loaded trucks removing soil. All this soil was removed within 40 minutes during this slide. This all happens due to a farmer moving 200 cubic meters of soil in front of his house and moving the soil towards the sea as you can see in this picture. In a few minutes you will be able to understand how this is possible. First we need to understand that quick clay has a high strength undisturbed, but if you disturb it it can turn liquid. See some of my other videos for more details on this. So, let's start with a simple Norwegian landscape illustrated here. There are some homes on the top of the hill, some trees on the slope, and a small river in the bottom of the slope. What is unique is the quick clay pocket underneath the slope. The quick clay pocket is very stable if it is not disturbed. In the first example, one day a farmer wants to flatten the slope and he starts to work on his excavator. By doing so, he increases the weight on a part of the slope. The farmer is unaware of the quick clay in the ground and a small landslide occurs as he's working. The newly formed slope just after the initial landslide has insufficient soil in front to support the new slope and a new slide occurs. In fact, the slide will keep occurring until the entire quick clay pocket is empty and we have a disaster as homes can float down the slope. Note that more than half the quick clay disasters are caused by human activity. A recent example is the 2016 Schekestad bridge collapse which was caused by heavy machinery moving soil around. This is illustrated in the picture in the video. Another example was the Risa slide from 1978, which I showed in the beginning of the video. A second reason for a quick clay slide is erosion, which can typically occur as water level in a river rises beyond normal level and eats the side slope. This may lead to an initial small slide, which again will have a newly formed slope which is unstable and soon after disaster happens as the whole quick clay pocket empties and homes float down the slope. A recent example of a quick clay slide that caused by erosion is the Bunset slide in Trondheim in 2012. A final example I want to show today is the possibility that heavy rain may cause a slide. The soil above the quick clay pocket may not be completely water filled, but very heavy rain may fill all the voids in the soil with water and make the soil much heavier. This increased weight of the soil may be enough to initiate a quick clay slide and if there are people living in the area, we can have a disaster. So in short, the triggering factors can be human factors by moving soil around, it may be erosion along rivers or increased weight by heavy rainfall. The risk of a quick clay disaster can be reduced if weight is reduced to lower driving forces. Another option is to add a counterfill on the bottom of the slope to add a stabilizing load. Lastly, rivers should be protected from erosion. I sincerely hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching.